near me because it is quite windy. Hi Amanda Bowden, hope you're well. Hey Kirsten. Hey Alison. Hey Bev Berry. Well, sorry about wind guys, but I'll be inside in a minute, so. Hi Lindsay Lou. Hi Tina. Hi Rhoda. Tracy Evans. Hi Nigel Porter. Nigel. I'm just hoping you can hear me a minute. Thank you, Daryl. I got the quilling. Hi, Patricia from New Zealand. It's not a very big one, this one, but it is medieval. Well, at least the tower's medieval, which is still standing. Hi, Lynette. So I thought I'd start outside because there's not much to show you, but I'll show it you anyway. I'll spin you around, guys. Believe it not. Hi, LJ. That's all the cemetery there is to this one. But uh, the tower is medieval. The chancel dates back to the 13th century. It's right next to a bit of a river. Hi Maureen. But as I say guys, that's all there is with cemetery side of it. But I will take you inside. Give you a look round. Sharing Kirsten, it means a lot. Thank you for sharing Maureen. <coughs> um, she's still a bit off today, Maureen, to be honest. It's mad to think that that still survived, doesn't it? Medi medieval towers. Yeah, she should feel better soon, I think, Maureen. I've never been in this one, so I don't know what's in here. I usually have a look around and see what's in, but... Uh, that's your bell tower, it's still got the bell cord, or what's left on it. I might have a go on that before I leave. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you for sharing, Bev. It means a lot to me. Ding dong. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Kira. Hope you're well. It has got a... As you can see, it has got a tomb in the wall. I've just read some history about it, saying that there's a, a guy interned in here. But I will put history up after. Thank you for sharing, Lucy. So it's not as big as the other one, and it hasn't got as many tombs in it. It has got a couple. Um, it has got some uh, 
War Memorials in. So it's got this guy in here. Yeah, according to the uh, history I've read outside, there's somebody interned in there. Whether they stood up, laid down, and that's just been stood up as like it would with a normal gravestone, I, uh, I couldn't tell you. But even this place is in good condition. Not as luxurious as rest, but uh, still a good one. It's nice that people still come here, isn't it? I don't think that works, do you? No. I say that definitely don't work. Hi, Kelly Roberts. We'll leave some uh, spare memory, guys. Always leave a donation, you should do. Well, I always do anyway. Because it does cost them 1.5 million a year to keep these in this condition. Hi oh, Joanne Brixton. It's not abandoned and it's not used. It's a, uh, they don't use it for services anymore. But it's nice to see that they don't take them down and knock them down. Sorry if I've missed anybody's comments coming on because I was uh, trying to sort through some cash, but yeah. This is a nice little chapel, isn't it, Tracy? I'll be happy when I can go back to my church. It is nice that they have got still got chapels and churches like this. You can just come and sit in for an hour or so. If you're that way out, right? Still got the... Uh, Neil cushions in. Not in very good condition now, like, right? but they still got them. They still got them. Is 
there's no more tombs in here that I can see. So just uh, these two. Yeah, it's live now, Barry. Taking a pill, yeah, in it. <laughs> Confessing all my sins. I can't believe how dark it's getting already. It's absolutely getting right dark. I don't know if you can see this, I'll show you how dark it is. That's how dark it is at the minute. No, it's not a ghost hunt, Barry Gardner. It's uh, a bit of urban exploring, a bit of history. So. There's no stained glass in windows, I can see. <coughs> I love old places, I'm saying Suzanne to be honest. Yeah, it would be Kerry, very much so. Yeah, Amanda, they're amazing, aren't they, all these old places? Um, I'll let you know, Lynette, when I see you, where I am. I'll, I'll send you a message, or I'll get Emma to send you a message and tell you where I am. But, uh, I don't put locations on lives because I don't want people coming and damaging things. Because you do get a lot of uncommon and damaged stuff. It's not nice. Still got the old organ in. Last night was a good one, Kerry, you're right. <laughs> it is lack of respect, but you're... Uh, you not stop it. You'll get idiots all over the place, won't you? Just damaging stuff. It's today's generation, I think. Well, it's either brought up one or other. But yeah, I thought I'd show you this one as well before I go home. There's another one, but I'll save that for another day. So it gives me something else to do another day. But, so I said, the, other, the first one I did were better than this one, but they're all good to me. But uh, this one's only got the two tombs in, as you've seen. And, uh, like I said, it's nice to come and see them open, isn't it? You can come inside and have an hour, if you, say, if you like. So... I'm glad you all come on and shared it out and watched. We've got a very nice church in Wolverhampton. If you send it to Suzanne Boswell, I, I will go and look at them, because I look at all churches, I like them all. Yeah, and if anybody wants to come on Zoom party tonight, it's uh, 8.30. If you ask Emma or message Emma for the link. Oh, welcome Nicola Watson, hope you're well. Thank you for coming and watching. But yeah, um, if you didn't see the one I did before this, head over and have a look, and there's all ones I've been doing every day, so. Something for you to watch back if you've not seen them already. But I'm gonna shoot off guys, cause it's getting dark and I'm, not charge my lights up so I'm not going to see where I'm going. But yeah. So catch you later. Peace out guys. I love you all. Bye bye.